I feel for your guys, your age, you know, because you guys are going to not only pay for it, but you're going to have to dig your way out of this one. Yeah, it's uh, one of those things where us as individuals, uh, uh, younger people need to, instead of looking towards pensions, actually look towards assets and look at ways to protect their wealth. And that's another thing I wanted to go into with you is the solutions, because we could talk about problems all day, but there are solutions out there. Well, the look, I can plug my new book, Fake, coming out if I ever get it published. <laughs> I just keep, more stuff keeps coming up, so I keep changing the book, Fake. And it's going to be uh, for, initially free online so people can look at it. But when I was your age, I was 25 years old. That's the, in 72, Nixon took the dollar off the gold standard in 71. So in 72, the book fake starts with me flying my helicopter behind enemy lines into Vietnam. So I went to North, went, not North Vietnam, but the, the, the North Vietnamese had overrun our position. And so there was a gold mine in enemy hands. So my goofy co-pilot and I and a crew chief we flew behind enemy lines to go look for gold, <laughs> like idiots. And, and we, so we were in this village that's overrun by Viet Cong and NVA, and we're, hey, hi, you know, we're, we're, we, we, we walked, we, walked, we came out of our helicopters unarmed to let them know we came as business guys, not military guys. And <clears throat> so I, we tried to buy gold then, and I realized something, <clears throat> I'd never seen gold because back in 72, it was illegal for Americans to own gold. So that same year, we, our ship was an aircraft carrier. We sailed into Hong Kong, and I bought my first gold, I think it was a Krugerrand. It was about 50 bucks. Well, today, that same Krugerrand's worth 1,500. And the dollar's worth nothing. So what I always say to young people, you know, is you want to buy what's real money, and gold and silver or God's money. And what, what I mean by God's money is this, is that gold and silver were here when the earth was created. You know, the gold, I believe, is 70, atomic at number 79, silver is 47. Gold and silver will be here when the cockroaches are dead. You know, and gold and silver will be here long after the dollar and the Canadian dollar and the loony has gone and all this. So I, I've just been buying gold and silver every chance I got since I was your age. And now I have, <clears throat> now it's a big problem called storage. And I don't keep anything in banks, you know what I mean? I've had to fly my gold and silver to what I say, safe countries. That, and, and not because I don't, not because of the country, is America so litigious. There's three kinds of money today that you guys gotta be aware of. One is God's money, and God's money is gold and silver. So this is silver, yeah. and this is gold. The reason I brought it is most people don't know what it looks like. Mm -hmm. And then there's government money, which is fiat currency, which is the dollar, the yen, the peso, the euro, the yuan. Yeah. Fake, and everybody's working hard for it. It's like eating fake food or mm -hmm. drinking fake water. That's why people are getting sick financially, because they're working for fake money. Yeah. Okay. And um, then there's fake assets, which is another part of the fake millennial, mm -hmm. the fake generation series. But the reason I brought this here is, most people haven't seen it. This here is real silver, plata, mm -hmm. okay? That's what it looks like. And so in 1972, and this here is gold. Yeah. This is God's money. This is what God's money looks like. Yeah. The reason I call it God's money is you can't fake it. You know, you can fake it with a fake ETF, like a gold ETF or mm -hmm. a silver, which I don't touch because it smells as bad as the guys that printed that crap. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> Jesus. But this is real money. So you look at this here. Mm -hmm. When I first started buying that, that was a dollar forty. Yeah. Today that's sixteen dollars. And this here is auto, gold. And the reason we brought it in is most people haven't seen or touched. This is mm -hmm. real. This is God's money. Yeah. Why did I say it's God's money? Because it was here when the earth was created. Yeah. And it'll be here when we're all dead and gone. Mm -hmm. When you're saving those fake dollars, this will still be here. Yeah. Or those fake ETFs or those fake stocks. So this here is called the green box. These are, there's 500 of these little tubes like this. Wow. 500 coins in here. And this is one, which is worth more? 
Which one's worth more? The gold. Yeah, this is worth more than all that. Yeah. Now the reason I say this is because for your generation, this could be the biggest opportunity you'll ever see. I'm not making any commissions on this stuff. <laughs> yeah, of course. But if you look at what happened with the fake central bank, see the purpose of the central bank or the Fed or all, you know, the, the Japanese, the Bank of Japan, or the, the European Central Bank, they pump out fake money. Mm -hmm. The purpose of central banks like the Fed is to protect the banks, yeah. not you. They're a criminal operation as far as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. You're going to find that most of my talks is about the Fed. So I would recommend you guys buy this stuff. Yeah. Don't save money. Don't save government money because they're corrupt as hell, as you know. Yeah. Save God's money.